The Queen Street Valley, the Wai Horochu would have been abundant with kai and animals, clean drinking water. And so we wanted to highlight that waterway by using light. Um, hence the Tūrama, the artworks that we put through there. Horochu. He's actually acknowledging the modi of the Wai, the, the, the life force of the water and our responsibilities to looking after that water. The two manu, one is a Ngāti Whātua called a Kahupokere, is the manu we have on our whare tūpuna up at, up at Orake. And the other one is a Ngāti Whātua kupu for that, is a, it's a kawau, a shag. Kawau is um, a kaitiaki manu for Ngāti Whātua. And that kawau is also found on our taurapa on the back of our waka. Te Wehinga, which is the big waharoa at the bottom of Shortland Street, is the separation between land and sea. And so that's where the original foreshore was. Um, if you're standing on the land side looking towards the water, what you will see is all the design work for the moana. So you've got the mangopare, the hammerhead sharks, and the whale's tail at the top, and all the kofaiwhai are moana kofaiwhai. And then if you're standing on the water side looking up Queen Street, you see the whenua. So the land designs, um, the manu, the rako kofai, the puhutokawa, and um, so that's its connection is using the water coming down to connect to all of those animals and the and to wehinga at the bottom.